good, good. You are safe. Good fortune did not abandon us entirely. Despite many days of meditating and scrying, Sai Sahan's whereabouts still elude me. The projection that you witnessed in the Foundry of Woe showed him to be in great peril. If we are to find him, I will need your help, Vestige. Though Sai remains hidden from my sight, Lyris brings news that an agent of the enemy lurks in Davin's watch. Fear is on the lips of the people. Darkness walks among them. Even a blind man can sense it. It is the hand of Menemarko. If it is truly an agent of Menemarko's worm cult, it may provide us with a clue that will hasten our search. Seek this agent, but tread carefully. The worm cult is a cult of necromancy, and the undead are fearsome opponents. Venture to Davin's watch. Speak to Fedwira Loren at the market, or Okia the beggar. Lyris first heard murmurs of trouble lurking in the shadows from them. Locate this agent of evil. Return with any personal effects they carry with them. My father taught me this song. Pretty, isn't it? I guess I'm feeling a little homesick. anyway. Since the war began, the market has never been busier. Let me think. Ah, yes, Imperial Fellow. Tall, brusque, rather boorish. He pushed me while I was haggling at the market. Scurried off toward the east end of town when I tried to have words with him. Typical. You're very sweet to say that. He scurried off in the direction of the stables. If that's any help to you, and he was with another man, deathly pale with deep-set eyes. He gave me the chills that one did. has need of you, comrade. I wasn't going to ask you for coin. I'm no beggar. I prefer to sleep out here where it's warm. Come to think of it, there was some out-of-towner mucking about in the abandoned stable last night. I didn't pry. None of my business. Also, he was armed. I'm no fool. See here, I had no idea the man was wanted by the authorities. He didn't... Wait. I remember now. He was with another man, gaunt and pale as a ghost. They opened a storm cellar door near the stables. Do you think they were burgling the place?
Comrade, a word. March into the great houses. much until I met you. What is the meaning of this interruption? Why have you contacted me? This is Abner Tharn. The Master and I are very busy. This had better be important. Wait a moment. I don't know your face. Identify yourself immediately. Yes, your report, you insipid twit. What, did you contact me by accident? Well, out with it. I don't have all day. Your disguise is terrible, by the way. You look like a character from a bad adventure novel. Are they? I didn't think that Redguard has been had a single friend left. Not in this world, at any rate. Never fear. Sai Sahan is safely locked away. Even if they were to discover his location, attempting a rescue would be suicidal. Of course I do. But I'm not in the habit of revealing vital secrets to insipid lackeys. Now be gone. And if you contact me again without good reason, I shall contact your cell commander and have you properly thrashed for your ineptitude.
No one keeps their fall. No one keeps their food. You've returned. What have you found? Abnathan shows his face again. I get the sense that he might have a larger part to play in the coming events, but for good or ill, I cannot say. Leave the orb with me. I shall be able to use it to locate Sai Sahan. Hold a moment. Come here. We need to talk. I heard you and the Prophet talking about Abner Tharn. Didn't the Prophet tell you the story of the Five Companions? I don't know where to start. There's so much to tell. We were chosen by Emperor Varen to join him on a quest to recover a lost artifact called the Amulet of Kings. The Five included Varen, myself, a Red Guard named Sai Sahan, Abner Tharn, and the traitor, Manamarco. You only know him as the man who killed you and stole your soul. But back then, he was Emperor Varen's most trusted advisor. It was Manamarco who convinced Varen to search for the Amulet of Kings. Varen wasn't a true dragonborn emperor. He didn't share Alessia's bloodline. Manamarco said the amulet could change all that. He said he could use it to perform a ritual that would turn Varen into a true dragonborn. It took us more than two years, but we finally recovered the amulet and returned to Cyrodiil to perform the ritual. Menemarko set us up. The ritual caused a violent explosion of magical energy. We lost Varen. Saisahan and I were declared outlaws. Menemarko convinced the Elder Council to recognize Abner Tharn's daughter Clivia as Empress Regent, but Menemarko was the true power behind the throne. Saisahan and I went into hiding. There was a bounty on our heads. Well, the legend says that the dragon fires were created from the blood of Akatosh and given to Saint Alessia. When a new emperor is crowned, they're supposed to relight them to prove that they're a true heir of Alessia, one of the dragonborn. It took us more than two years. Abner Tharn is Grand Chancellor of the Elder Council and Chief Advisor to his daughter, the Empress Regent. He is also Manimarko's toady. Tharn's first loyalty is to his family and the Empire, and he's a ruthless bastard when it comes to defending them. The Worm Cult obviously doesn't share those loyalties. Tharn would never trust them, but he's too much of a coward to betray them. Maybe. But what could we offer him? He's already got more gold than the gods themselves. I know it's a lot to take in, 
We'll talk more later. In the meantime, I'll keep an eye on the Prophet. Hopefully that orb will help him find out where Sai Sahan is being held. Once we know that, we can plan our next move. Where in oblivion did these things come from? The fog has lifted, Vestige. Uh, the path before us has been revealed. Off at the inn. It is both dark and twisted. Come to the harborage. We have an unexpected guest who demands your presence. We have an unexpected guest, Vestige. My attempts to use the orb of discourse to locate Sai Sahan did not meet with success, so I decided to try a more direct approach. I used it as it was intended and contacted Abner Thun. He admits that he knows Sai Sahan's location, but he will not reveal it. He demands to speak with you directly. We meet again, Vestige. I wish to speak with you on a matter of some urgency. Menimarco and his vile master have dark and terrible plans for this world. If you wish to stop them, you need to find the Amulet of Kings. But to find the Amulet, you must first locate Sai Sahan. Of course I do. And I might be willing to share that information for a price. If Menimarco learns that we've spoken, he'll have me executed. I'm a danger to him. I know too much. 
Therefore I, Abner Than, Chancellor of the Elder Council, Overlord of Nibane, formally request asylum. Do I look to be in a mirthful mood? There comes a point when even a patriot's loyalty is stretched too far, when the things he has done, and has seen done, become too much to bear. Would that I could. As it happens, I find myself to be somewhat of a prisoner, in dire need of rescue. My proposal is this. If you retrieve me from Menemarko's fortress and grant me asylum, I will give you Sai Sahan's location in return. You can't. And you'd be a fool to trust me completely. But the facts remain, you need me if you wish to find Sai Sahan, and I must keep my head if I am to ensure the continuance of the Empire. Neither of us has a choice. Than is quite correct. We have little choice in the matter. You can't be serious. How can we possibly trust him? As our visitor so eloquently pointed out, we cannot. But if we are to locate Sai Sahan, we must do this. Go with the vestige, Lyris. Rescue Than. Give him the chance to redeem himself. He may surprise you. I don't like this, but if it's the only way to find Sai Sahan, I'm with you. You appear to have arrived in the wretched squalor a shantytown of soul shriven outside Menemarko's castle. As luck would have it, Menemarko is away on some errand for the Daedric Prince. The castle garrison is not on alert, so you should only encounter a token defense. The main gate is sealed, but there are undoubtedly other routes one might take. You're the hero, aren't you? Improvise. What a skeever. Improvise, he says. I can't believe we're risking our lives to rescue that skeeving horker. Subtlety and stealth. Let's not bring the entire castle guard down on our heads. And didn't he say this was a town of soul shriven? Maybe we can find one who knows his way around. Try to be inconspicuous. We just got free of this place. The last thing we need is to get recaptured. Amazar's people have a saying, may your roads lead you to warm sands. How oh, in the sight of two moons did Famazar end up here? He thinks he must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Feed first. That is the fastest way in. Ask Cadwell. That crazy bastard seems to know every corner of this place. You better hurry though. I heard they just chased him into a building near the waterway. Why am I not surprised to find Cadwell here? He certainly does get around.
I don't go around. Intruders! I say, jolly good timing. Lyris enchanted, as always. And you, you're looking fit for someone, so uh, how can I put it? Deficient in the soul department? Wherever the forces of evil prey upon the innocent, wherever souls are stolen and bodies shriven, wherever a people cry out for justice, there goest I. I mean, this whole eternal servitude business is rather nasty, don't you agree? You better as garters. Why? Lovely grounds, no question, but it's positively brimming with angry cultists carrying rather large weapons. I see, I see. A rescue, is it? Well, that's a different kettle of fish, isn't it? Hmm. There is a cistern that drains into the waterway. Uh, the door is locked, but that's not stopped me before. Why don't you meet me there and we'll see what's what? <sighs> That might be our best chance to get inside. Keep up nicely, I can't abide dawdlers. This whole bloody castle sits on top of an ocean of unstable oblivion, what's it? The Daedra use pipes to control the flow of it all, and it comes out as steam. Well, most of the doors in here are sealed with pressure from that steam. It's all rather complicated, but in a nutshell, if I can tamper with the pipes, we can open the doors to the inner keep, and you can slip inside. Well, I can handle the tinkering, but you'll have to keep the beasties off me. It will be quite a romp. Are you game? Onward! Ha <laughs> ha! 